In this video, we'll take a look at the top 28 shortcuts to make your life easier in Excel. Sure, you may know some of the ones we'll cover, and yes, there are a ton of shortcuts Excel has to offer, yet with any luck, you'll find these useful. Let's get started. Let's start off with this one. Odds are you know how to select your data already, yet if not, you want to press Control A to select everything. If you want to select the entire column, press Control Spacebar. If you want to select the entire row, press Shift Spacebar. To select from the point you're at to the bottom of a column, press Control Shift Down Arrow. To select from the cell you're in to the end of the row, press Control Shift Right Arrow. If you just selected a column and want to get to the active cell, press Control Backspace. To hide a column, press Control Zero. To hide a row, press Control Nine. If you want to add a row with the row selected, Press Control Shift Plus. Subsequently, the same thing works with a column. After it's selected, click Control Shift Plus to add a new column. To delete a row, after it's selected, press Control Minus. And as you may have guessed, you can do the same thing with a column. After it's selected and you want to delete it, press Control Minus. To move between the sheets in your file, press Control Page Up or Control Page Down. Control page down will take you to the right. Control page up will take you to the left. By chance you do a lot of formatting, to open the format dialog box, press Control 1. Let's say you're typing along and you need a line break within your cell. To get one, press Alt Enter. And in case it helps, the line break will stay there if you resize the column. If your list is in desperate need of resizing columns, there is no need to manually click and drag to resize them. Instead, Select your entire list, then press Alt-H-O-I. On a similar note, let's say your rows are a hot mess. You can fix them by selecting your entire list, then press Alt-H-O-A. Let's say you have a large list and need to filter it. You can turn on the filter by pressing Control-Shift-L. Or you can go one step further and create a table by pressing Control-T, which will convert your list into a table and give you access to all kinds of cool stuff like sorts, filters, built-in formulas, etc. Let's say you have some data with some hidden rows and you need to copy just the visible portion to a new sheet. The problem is when you do a standard copy and paste, when you go to paste the data, Excel will bring over the hidden data as well, which will most likely work against you. To fix this, you want to first select your data then press Alt semicolon, which will select only the visible cells. From there, copy your data, jump over to a new sheet, do a standard paste, and you'll be left with just the visible cells. Here's one you might know. Since addition is a very common math calculation, you can press Alt equal to get the sum function. Next, let's talk about Control Enter. This one can be used in a few different ways, so let's take a look. One way you can use Control Enter is to keep you on the current cell. For example, we can add up these cells. Then, when we press Control Enter, you'll notice the active cell did not move down a row. Another way to use Control Enter is to use it to fill selected cells. For example, let's say we need to multiply these two numbers together. We'll start off by selecting our cells, then do our formula, press Control Enter, and there you go. On a similar note, Let's say we select our cells where the formula is going to live, build our formula, then press Enter out of old habits. We can salvage things by pressing Control D and that will duplicate our formulas into the cells we have selected. Next, let's say you inherit a spreadsheet and you want to see where all the formulas live. If you press Control and the accent graph, Excel will show you where all your formulas are. To reset yourself, press Control and the accent graph again. Moving on, let's talk about the flash fill. In a nutshell, the flash fill will fill in your data when Excel detects a pattern. Or put another way, when you start typing, Excel will do the heavy lifting for you. The good news is the flash fill is very simple, powerful, and very flexible. There's a lot you can do with it, so let's take a quick peek. Let's say we have a list of names, some cities, and some states, of which we want to break into separate columns. So we'll type our first name, press Enter, then press Control E, jump to the next column. Let's type our last name, enter it, then press Control E again. 
and you can figure out the rest. We can go over here to where it says city, type it out, press enter, control E, do the same pattern for the state, and there you go. Going one step further, there are a lot of unique and creative things we can do with the flash fill. For example, let's say the boss wants us to create email addresses for all these people. So we can type out the format of our email, press enter, control E, and check that out. And for the record, this is in no way comprehensive with everything you can do with a flash fill. The goal was just to get you started. Let's keep going. Let's say you need to create some charts. There are two ways we can do this. The first is to select our data, then press the F11 key. When we press the F11 key, it will create a new chart on a new sheet. The other way is to press Alt F1. So after our data is selected, if we press Alt F1, the chart will be added to the current sheet. Moving on, let's say you want to format these cells. You can use Excel's auto format feature by pressing Alt O A. From there, pick the style that appeals to you. By chance, you're one of those people who likes to have a bunch of Excel files open at once. You can jump between them by pressing Control Tab. If you're doing data entry, instead of typing, you can press Alt Down Arrow, which will give you a list of all the unique values. From there, just pick from the list. And we'll draw the line there. In closing, it goes without saying, there are a ton of keyboard shortcuts in Excel. So by chance you want a more comprehensive list, you can download a mega keyboard shortcut list along with our multi-page quick reference guide. You can find the links in the description below. So let me know, did this list help? And what are some of your favorite Excel keyboard shortcuts? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.